previous owner of the Hope Manor Stock Exchange. Okay, so they're off, as they say in horse racing circles. Let's go off now to the City of London and Michael Wilson is there keeping an eye on things for us. What's happening, Mike? 700 points at the opening. So far, we're just seeing, and it's all, all, all over the place. Remember that all these stocks don't open at exactly the same time. But it started down down about 700 points. And what is spooking the United States? James Hughes joins me as an analyst here. Well, we've got all this recession fears, of course. That's the major thing which is sparking the fear across across the globe, really. And of course, the oil price has been a big problem today. We've seen OPEC not do enough. Another oil price ought well, to help the economy, shouldn't it? Of course, it should do. But it's the overall panic that we're getting that uh, central banks and actual uh, organisations aren't doing enough to help these markets at the moment. Yeah. There are there are measures being taken that just aren't enough to help at the moment. That's why we're spiking. What's he doing now? Down three thirty. Holding steady. Foots is holding actually quite steady at the moment, which is not bad of it. But what's Wall Street now? Yeah. Down six, the Dow's down six, and you can see that kind of immediate sag right at the beginning, a uh, classic. So, I mean, not that anybody's walked in this territory before, quite honestly, but uh, obviously very, very panicky and so on. I mean, that's not nervous anymore, is it? No, that's right. I mean, these are sort of once in a lifetime moves. Straight on the open, a minute in, and we're down 800 points or so. So it's actually a huge move. Yeah. So what we well, need actually somebody, doesn't it, to sort of take control of this and actually say, well, it doesn't need to. It doesn't need to be like that because there's just no confidence left at all, isn't there? We obviously got the GDP figures today, which were much worse than expected, which said all the normal things. I don't think anybody needs to be told we're in recession today. No, that's right, these figures were, were pretty much a given, but of course we're getting this overall just degree of panic come back in. We thought earlier in the week we, that the dust was starting to settle and things were getting better, but the end of this week has really sparked a lot of panic yet again into these markets. That's good. What are we doing, Giles, now? Um, moving, moving around so quickly because it, it doesn't say anything really. Does it? It's not, it's not an index. It's just a panic measure. 
yeah, of course, these are just sort of numbers which are representing how much the traders are panicking at the moment. And of course, this is exactly the problem that we're getting, is just this blind panic still ruling the markets. We're going to have to wait until a little bit later today for the dust of the open to settle to really get some, some proper prices out. And of course, as we say, wait for a lot of the stocks to open. And then we can start seeing exactly where the values are in this. But on the open, of course, we're very manic and, and we have to uh, wait for all the stocks to open. As we say, there's a lot of the big ones that just aren't, aren't opened up yet. But we're getting closer. I mean, the screen showing 444 down now. That's getting closer to where we are. We're just, just below 500 at the moment. So. There you go, then. That fairly uh, interesting opening, if I can put it like that. But we can probably go and get a better measure of this if you come back to us uh, round about the top of the hour. We can see where things have settled down. But you can, it sets the tone, doesn't it? it? It does set the tone, and we will come back to um, in the next hour, Mike. But I want you to just explain is, is there going to be anything else uh, later on this afternoon, morning for America, um, as to how it's going to go? Is there something that's going to pick it up or send it down again? Not really. Um, it's, we are in the middle of their company reporting season but most of those have actually done it this week. It's just a question of sentiment now. But if normal market rules apply to this, maybe they will, maybe they won't, people will start looking at some of these beaten down stocks and they'll start buying them, particularly stocks that give good dividends because like utility stocks, the boring stocks and so on. Because if they do, then that's good money for people to make. Not so much how much a stock costs and how much they lose or gain by going up and down, but just a, a cumulative long-term approach of getting the dividends in from that stock. That's what they were looking at when Wall Street opened, um, or before Wall Street opened today. And if that happens, then the market will gradually find the floor, but not right now. Okay, Mike, we will return to you a little later. As you can see, down 5% the Dow Jones on opening day. We'll keep you up to date with that throughout the afternoon.